हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सिविल मेनिया सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर डेट इज़ थर्ड लेक्चर आई एल बी टेलिंग अबाउट लाइक लेट मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओपन ऑटो कैड देर आई एल बी शोइंग वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज so i have clicked on new file now let me uh switch off the grid mode that is grid mode off after the grid mode i have uh, switched off the grid mode now before doing any drawing or any drafting in autocad you need to know what is the scale which you have set it so as you can see here this is the scale Uh, by clicking it here you can check what is the scale uh, that is whether the scale is 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 scale means if you are uh, drawing something of 100 mm then the 100 mm uh, on the paper will be equal to the 100 mm on the uh, land or uh, that will be equal and if 1 is to 100 1 is to 100 means it will be reduce to 100 times suppose uh, in land it is 100 uh, some some uh, the if the length of the wall so i am supposing like if the length of the wall is 10 meter in the land or uh, in the practical view then that length of 10 meter will be reduced to 100 times in the paper so that means that this is reduce scale so you can say this scale is reduced to twice fourth four times five times eight times 10 times 100 times this one is 50 times reduced so it, this one is 100 times reduced okay so i will always while drawing any uh, diagrams here i will first of all keep the scale as 1 is to 100 so this is the scale high which i have uh, selected then i will be selecting the unit as decimal okay now after that i will be going to the prop options and in the options i will be going to the drafting settings user interface settings here millimeter as well as here also millimeter in the user preferences now i will click on d command after clicking the d then i will modify and i will check uh, the dimensions are in which uh, first of all let me go to the primary units then decimal then 0.00 not comma here it is it will be uh, period okay close it now everything is okay now again you have to go to the layout as i am clicking it here in the layout you have to go to the layout portion then after that you have to click here mv setup you have to click mv setup just click on enter after that you have to select title box this is the uh, uh, table or you can select from here or you can select from here uh, let me click on title box after clicking title box click on insert now what will be the size of the paper in which i will be drawing the diagram so let me suppose i will be drawing it on the paper size of indian standard iso a0 size so the number is 5 so let me click here 5 so let me click here 5 and press enter now simply click on enter see i hope uh, you can see it now the title box has been created see this is the title box which is created by default uh, by the autocad itself see this is the title box as well as along with that here another one title box is uh, created that is for the che date uh, signature and checked as well as here for the article number file number drawing number everything so they have created this uh, title box uh, by themselves now this is the uh, setting for by the help of mb setup you can create title box okay after that again you have to click on model and you have to click on this three lines 
if you click on these three lines then after that you have to go to the page setup manager because before drawing any kind of diagrams you have to first of all go to the page setup to do the setting whether you will be drawing in the a0 page or you know a1 size uh, iso a1 size or whatever it may be so you have to click on modify after clicking on modify you have to click here paper size iso paper size so i will be selecting here iso uh, this is in the landscape mode 1189 by 841 mm landscape mode you can even check click on portrait mode but i will be selecting landscape mode okay now click on ok and after that click on close now the model has been created or now the page has been created of size of what will be the size of a 0 even you can set in the layer let me click on the layer uh, sorry in the layout you have selected here from layout by by the help of these three lines then you can even here uh, set up paste setup then modify then size as a 0 ok then click on ok then close it so this is the size of the paper which has been created or this is the a 0 size similarly you can do for the layer layout 2 or you can also even delete layout 2 by simply right click on it and by deleting it ok so this is how we can uh, set the size of the paper even i will show another one command in the model that is in the title box you have to again click uh, you have to again write mv setup mv setup and click on enter after that simply you have to click on no so i have selected i have click as no no or n then click enter after that what will be the unit type our unit size will be engineering click on enter then it will be scale factor sorry our engine uh, size is not uh, engineering our so again you have to simply press on escape button then click again mv setup enter no then our uh, size is decimal so uh, simply type decimal d or decimal then enter it then what will be the size here such as here h written full size half size quarter size two times four times so i will be selecting as full size so i will uh, type factor as one okay now you have to enter the paper width I, what will be the paper width uh, as uh, just now i have selected for the a uh, sorry for the a0 size what will be the size or let me go to the google and google or uh, type the size or simply you can again go it here and you can remember it what will be the size of the a0 paper okay uh, let me uh, uh, because if i need to again go it to the, this portion and type uh, and i need to check there the size then again i have to escape it so better let me provide as somewhat a one one let me provide as 1200 the size of the a1 paper as uh, width as 1200 in the landscape format and 900 uh, height okay so this one will be the paper which is being created this is the paper size as you can see here see now i'll press on escape see uh, the rectangular box which is created this one is actually the paper size or a0 size paper which is being created in the autocad workspace by the help of mb setup so now you can create your any kind of drawing inside this box because this box uh, this is the maximum size what you can uh, take the printout of as it this one is the a0 size even you can reduce the size as 1 is 200 or you can reduce more okay as preferred as custom in the custom you can type as 1 is to a uh, you can add it and you can write as 1 is to 200 and uh, such as 1 is to 200 scale okay 
now this one is a one is to two hundred scale created even you can click on this one so in this way you can change whatever the scale you require it and you can draw the paper width as well as paper height and you can draw inside this box as well as even you can now go to the layout uh, to check this is the what uh, rectangular box which is created so this one is the layout so this is how we can create the sorry we can create the size of the uh, a note paper as well as we can change the scale after that i will uh, show you how to let me uh, first delete this one by clicking on control a button and simply you have to press the delete button in the keyboard after that this uh, the uh, so every, uh, whatever is present in the workspace that one will be automatically deleted after that another one thing hi which uh, i will show you here that is the ucs icon command see as you can see here uh, in my workspace uh, this xy coordinate sometimes creates lots of problem while uh, drawing any kind of diagram so let me do one thing let me uh, minimize or close this xy xy coordinate so for that you have to click in the command box ucs icon ucs icon this ucs full form is unified coordinate system okay ucs icon so i'll click on ucs icon then i'll place enter then after that simply i will press off then i'll as soon as i will press enter the xy coordinate will now disappear so let me click on enter off see the xy coordinate has now disappeared so now i can easily uh, draw any kind of diagram here without any kind of hindrance now let me um, take the line command and let me draw one line see I have clicked on line command after that whatever is written here you can check in the dialog box line specify first point suppose you simply click on this point so this is the first point now I can create any kind of line at any angle and for that what you just need to do is for that see for uh, for removing this angle you have to press in this ortho mode f8 or ortho mode see as soon as i clicked on ortho mode now you can draw in a rectangular manner in a, sorry in a perpendicular manner that is either in the leftward rightward or in the north south direction okay so let me draw one line of 100 mm click and enter after that you can either uh, click on escape if you click on uh, if you type the sorry if you click on the escape button or press the escape button then only single line will be created or else you can do one thing after clicking on 100 i can create the line either in the upward north direction or in the south direction so simply you just pull the cursor in the north direction if you want to draw the line in the north direction then again type the command as 100 mm then again if you want to draw in the left uh, that is in the west direction forward the cursor toward the west direction and type 100 mm then again in the south direction then again type 100 mm after that press the escape button uh, as you can see here now my rectangle is being uh, square is being created of all the sides of 100 mm even i can check for the dimensions here from here to here see this is 100 and as well as from here to here this is the 100 mm okay so this is the uh, rectangle i have now create uh, sorry rectangle of 100 mm size or square of 100 mm size i have created now let me uh, draw one circle within this rectangle and for drawing one circle within this rectangle what i will do is let me click on this line command and click on here click it as here or but for clicking on it on here you have to remember two things that is if you will 
click on ortho mode the line will be drawn in the straight line mode if you click on this polar tracking then the polar tracking will be on so always you need to do one thing that is you have to keep the polar tracking as on as well as you have to keep this object snap that is f3 button as on because if you will keep the so after keeping this snap button object snap and on if you will not keep this object snap as on then two lines will not be joined together as i can show you by the help of one diagram so let me do one thing let me uh, click one line i have created one line of any length let me uh, let me ortho mode me on see i have created one line now i press the escape button now let me create another line and i, I need to join it here see as you can see here this triangle one uh, pink color triangle is being created and this pink color triangle is created only because of object snap is on so i can directly click it here and i can join it any line okay but let me delete it again and again click on this one and object snap on you can draw it okay see if you go to the uh, two corners you can see that these two corners are properly joined without any space okay see as i am zooming it there is no space at all but suppose uh, you are connecting two lines now let me create i want another line and let the object snap be off now i need to create another line then in this case the, the triangular box will disappear and i have to create very pre i have to join the line very precisely but still there will be error suppose let me create uh, click it here uh, let me click it here and join it see it looks like the two lines are joined but still if you zoom it there will be some error see this is the error which is created and this one is created because my object snap is not in the on condition so this is the reason why object snap is required so that two lines are joined in a proper way and uh, after that i hope it's clear to all of you what is the uh, reason why object snap is required to be in the on mode as well as um, ortho mode after that polar tracking keep the polar tracking in the on mode then after that uh, you have to uh, click here by uh, simply you have to type in this uh, command box ds and press enter after cl clicking on ds enter the drafter settings will appear here you can click on object snap on then polar tracking on object snap see as you can see here in the object snap end point is selected midpoint selected center all this you can parallel lines will be uh, created you can either clear all or you can select all because if you will click on center line then the center line will be shown directly if you want the uh, parallel lines then the then you need to click on this parallel lines as soon as you click on click it here the parallel lines will be shown here directly so this is how this parameter says will work after selecting it then in the 3d object snap you have to click all this in the 3d view dynamic input quick properties okay you can even go then select cycling okay press on okay now you can do one thing now suppose you are uh, selecting another one line and let me delete those two dimensions now let me join uh, the lines from let me create uh, select on the line command then after that uh, click it here and after that click it here i have drawn the diagonal now suppose i need to uh, draw a circle now i'll click on the circle and uh, select in this uh, triangle you have to select and select as center and radius then when you will move over the line then the center point will be shown see 
this is the center point even you can check here this is the center point of this line even you can check here this is the center point of this line so you can simply click on center point and you can create the radius of let me create the circle of radius 30 click enter so now the circle is created at the center point now you can delete this line in this way you can create a circle inside the rectangle or this is the one of the method to draw one circle inside the rectangle suppose you want you need to draw the circle in another way then you can draw it in another manner such as suppose uh, the, click on circle then click it here the center line then again click it here the center line after that after that click click it here and here you have to power on all such as geometric node node quadrant intersection perpendicular tangent nearest appropriate parallel everything you on it by going it here after that you can check that see from here you can create sorry i have to select as line command yeah this is the line command or you can go it here yeah this is the center point so yeah simply you click it here and click it here and draw it here so this is the center point or else you can uh, now you can draw the circle by selecting this one as the center point and draw one circle of 30 degree radius in this is how you can also even create one circle or else one of the sh easiest command i will show you now is you have to simply click on circle now click on shift button and right click it click on shift button and after that right click in the space now click on geometric center after that you just point it out to this figure and it will show you the geometric center see or else uh, i'll show you okay just wait okay click on circle circle and radius after that you need to press uh, shift button and simply click in the space in the right uh, in the right side in the workspace uh, right after clicking right click this menu will uh, appear after that click on geometric center after that simply you need to uh, place the arrow inside as you can see here the geometric center is shown now you can click here and you can draw the circle of entering radius 30 see this is how directly you can create one circle inside the rectangle by using these three type of commands or else after that i will show you some different uh, diagrams such as let me delete everything by selecting uh, by uh, uh, pressing ctrl a and delete button after that let me draw one line of 100 mm then after drawing the line of 100 mm let me draw another line of 100 mm then again let me draw one line of 100 mm then press the escape button now i need to draw one arc from here to here so i will click it here and i will select start center end click it here and select start center end but remember that arc will always be created in the anti clockwise direction so here uh, if i need to create the arc inside then i will uh, click it here as this is the starting point then start center point and end point see the arc is created inside or else if you need to create the arc outside then select it here again start center in then this is the starting point then this is the center point and this is the end point this is how it is created okay start center end let me delete once again and let me uh, again create it arc three point this is the starting point 
center point and end point see this is how i have created the arc now you can delete this arc and uh, delete you can also even delete this line so this is how i have created one arc okay this is how we can create the arc uh, by drawing two lines or else you can use one polyline by uh, by selecting it in in the polyline click on in the polyline then after clicking polyline click here then draw one line of 100 press enter after pressing enter simply you need to do right click it after right clicking select arc now you need to draw one arc of suppose 30 no, sorry suppose 100 this is the arc of 100 after that again you need to draw one line of 100 okay now you can press escape okay here you have to see the line is not being created because I, the uh, whatever i have selected is already in the arc portion so i have to again click on right click and uh, click on line and after that you have to press 100 and enter it then you have to press escape this is how you can see i have created the arc by the arc as well as line by the help of the same command that is by the help of polyline here i have to not create individually the two lines and after that one start center end arc but you can directly create this arc by the help of polyline so i hope it's uh, clear to all of you so if there is any doubt then you can ask me in the comment section and if you have not subscribed then please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching my video okay bye bye take care